So the author told me I needed to get one dollar from someone. It seemed like an easy enough challenge, but when I opened my messages app, I started to feel my heart throb, which was crazy because I was just needing to ask for one single dollar. I thought about who should I ask for this dollar, and I thought about friends, and I thought about family. But in the book, Million Dollar Weekend, Noah's book, he said that we could request him if we wanted. So I put my own twist on this challenge. I was going to ask for ten dollars, not just one dollar. And I realized that I was asking for more than he told us for this challenge, and I needed to go above and beyond just asking. So I implemented his strategy of now, not how. So I decided, just start. So yesterday, I made a YouTube video giving my thoughts and takeaways from chapter one of his book. In that video, I had too many takeaways because he had so much actionable advice in his book. So even though yesterday I said today's video will be about chapter two, I am not ready to move on yet. I am going to go slowly and I'm going to make as much as I need to for each chapter and post about it, which is what I'm doing here. So this is all about the one dollar challenge. So it was 9 p.m. last night and I decided to make the ask. I was going to ask Noah for $10. So I open up Venmo and I start typing in 100 and I hesitate and I add that extra zero to make it $10, not $1. And I thought to myself, is this going to, should I, uh, should I do $1? Maybe this is going to make him reject me. But I was like, no, 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 no. I need to do this. I add the zero and I hit request. $10 minutes later i had a notification that he had not only accepted my venmo request but i had ten dollars in my venmo account with a comment from noah saying go get it i was shocked this millionaire author just read my venmo request and this is what i typed to him just made a youtube video about my reaction to chapter one chapter two is tomorrow Noah, thank you. You have taught me if you do not ask, you do not get. The fact that he sent me $10 was not the significant part. It was that I had the courage to make this ask and build and practice my ask muscle. He responded, and then I thought to myself, let me send this money back to him. But I hesitated, and I thought to myself... That would be rude to him. He just invested $10 in me. So instead, I bought the hardcover of his book, Million Dollar Weekends. And now I have it on Audible and I have the hardcover coming. So I'll be able to pass it forward. And once I'm done with this book, I'll be able to gift it to a friend who can benefit too. And then I get to talk with him about it. So it truly feels like that $10 was an investment in me. And I swear to you, that $10, while seeming insignificant, he just got a permanent fan for life. I cannot even describe how loyal I feel to supporting him from that tiny $10 that I asked and he validated. So Noah, if you ever see this, you're freaking awesome. You invested in me, and I am going to document my journey here on YouTube. So until the next video, and... If you guys enjoyed this video, then I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.